been a while since I've chatted with you, so I wanted to share some experience that I had on the last few days of our trip in Norway. So we had met Perd um, on Tuesday of our week in Tromsø, and we were getting and we were chatting with her about the aurora, learning about the history, which is pretty amazing. And then he said, and then he asked if we would like to come over and come over to the observatory and meet one of the professors there. And we were very, very, very excited to meet him. So on our last night there, we met him. We talked about science for long, for a long time. Hi, um, Magna. <laughs> and we had also said. Well, what we know the aurora is beautiful, but what else can it do? And we learned all about the electromagnetic energy can, it can do, and how in the Carrington events of 1859, it fried all telegraph poles. Mm hmm Yeah, that was... Impressive. And we won't, and we don't want another repeat. No. <laughs> um, but, during that, towards the end, Purr was kind enough to give us this. It's a $200 Norwegian, um, Norwegian, no, 200 kroner Norwegian ba bank note, which has some pretty cool stuff about the Aurora and Norway itself. This here is Christian Birkeland, who was, um, one of the people who did a lot of research into the Aurora, Aurora and developed some new theories about it. And to prove his theory, he actually created his own aurora making aurora machine which is powerful enough to create his own mini aurora it also shut down the power in the entire university <laughs> oops yeah um these swooshing parts on the note are the aurora um snowflake because it was so cold hmm. <laughs> uh this constellation here, I, d I don't know if you can see it, but this is the Big Dipper, and there's some stars there that align with it. And now, on the flip side, is a map of the area. And this is this is the General North Pole. Um, this small, way smaller dot here is the North Magnetic Pole. And then this, and this oval around it, this oval, this circle around it, that is the auroral oval, which is the area where the aurora is most likely to be seen. Though in the Carrington event, it was it was seen way past that, so the aurora doesn't always stay inside that. Um, and. Norway there, some more things in the Arctic Circle. I believe that is it from that note. It's a very beautiful note. It's not actually in circulation in Norway anymore. Which is disappointing. Yes, because it's such a beautiful note, but it's also a very generous gift. It was. Per has a really nice collection, so I was really kind of him to give up that. Which is why I was hoping that we could add something new to his collection. Which shall be... This is a hundred a hundred dollar Australian note, which features um, two famous pe people that are related to the southern stuff. This is Peter Mawson, who is um, an Antarctic explorer. Um, he found discovered some animals, made notes on them, explored the Antarctic, made uh, made tricks home through it. Some pretty cool stuff about it. This, um, this jagged stuff up here is the aurora in all the different colours you can see. And this is the astronomer John Tebbett, who dis um, who discovered some pretty cool comets. And the famous comet of 1856? 1861. 1861. 1861. Which, pretty cool. Built his own observatory too. Yeah, that was amazing um so per if you're listening i hope you like what we are going to be sending to you off to you soon 
We think it's a pretty good connection from ours to yours. Yeah. Thanks guys for listening 